Hello, you fucks. Welcome to John Solo's Beer Brigade. I'm John Solo. There's little little Lissa Gramlin dressed up like Hi. Uh, dressed up like Baby Yoda. An Eskimo. I guess. <laughs> the Emperor not, Palpatine. Do you not have heat? Is that what's going on? The heat is on. I'm just very cold. That's a song, by the way. The heat is on. Dun, dun, dun. Hold on. Yeah, yeah. It might help if you put those on your ears. Yes, instead of they're much better. <laughs> now you can put your hood up if you want, and then be, maybe we can be. Let's do the, the no, I can't. Jedi thing today. Here we go. Here we go. <laughs> no, I I'll can't. Do, I'll do the. There you go. I, I have to do this now. Uh, hang on, hang on. Let me let me get my my lights right here for this. We'll uh, we'll turn them up a little bit so you can see me. Which ones should we use today? There we go. I think that's good right there. Blue. Then we can we can do a hello there. How's that? Is that better? <laughs> yeah, that works. So today's today's the hooded <laughs> episode. There we go. So yeah. I, I, well, I'm, I must ask, what's the weather like over there? Well, right now it's 43 degrees, but early, this morning it was 27. 27 degrees. Oh, Gotta get the hood off. <sighs> Uh, welcome, Barbie Smith. It's your first time attending the uh, Ramblin' Gramlin show live. Um, this is our oh, hooded session good thing today. Too. Yeah, uh, we're, it's also we're all... our one-year anniversary session too. Is it? I did not know that. Yes, it uh, is. Congratulations! I know my... you don't celebrate anniversaries, I, I, except I'm, for your own, because Jody to, would be mad. I'm attempting to learn. Okay, I, I now celebrate my wedding anniversary, and I also celebrate my sobriety anniversary. So there's two that I celebrate. Other than that, I, I don't give a damn. But am I supposed to get you something in silver or gold or something? Or I don't know, myrrh? paper. I think is one year. Paper, <laughs> which you don't do. I should have. I should have maybe. <laughs> Maybe sent you some zigzags, I guess. I'm not sure. Um, <laughs> what we've got a... Well, uh, no, I'm, I'm layered right now, so... Uh, you're layered right Because I'm now? cold. Yeah, so I've got fuzzy leave. slippers, fuzzy socks. Look at you go. Uh, Look at you. Sweat pants, a long sleeve shirt, and a hoodie. Oh, and you're still cold, huh? <laughs> yes. Wow, look at that. Um, maybe you need to do something. Have you ever tried long johns? Have you ever experienced those before? I'm not talking about the donut. I don't have the, any, the no. Donut. Um, um, no. they're really, they're an amazing thing because you see, if your body is cold, what happens is, and this is science here, kids, what happens is <clears throat> your body uh, sucks in all the blood to the core because it's going to try and keep your internal organs warm. Okay. So if your body's cold, that means your extremities, um, are going to get less blood as a result because your body's sucking in all the blood in, into your core, into your stomach and around all your internal organs. And that's when it's going to try and warm first to keep you alive. So the idea is <clears throat> that you get some long johns and a, a pair of pants and a shirt, and that keeps your core warm, which then allows your blood flow to go out to your extremities so you don't have, like, cold hands and cold feet and shit. Does that make sense? Mm-hmm. Yeah, it does. Yeah? yeah. <laughs> so have you ever owned Florida Girl, a pair no. of long johns in your life? Never, huh? No. Nope. Wow. <laughs> okay. Well, have you ever considered perhaps owning a pair of long johns? I'm... No. I'm, no? Not now. You're cold, but fuck all them long johns thing. What is a... Uh, I feel that we're talking about something like kale or something like that right now. What is your aversion to owning some long johns? Aversion means you don't want to. What's your... I'm, I know what aversion means. <laughs> I'm just making sure. I, I um, just never had the desire to wear them. <laughs> right, so what we need to do, there's... This is a Venn diagram. Do, are you familiar with Venn diagrams? Do you know what those are? No. Okay. So a Venn diagram is you have two things, and somewhere they join in the middle. Okay? So what we've got over here is, this is cold. And what we've got over here are long johns. What we need to do is get the Venn diagram to meet in the middle. Right? Somewhere in the middle. This needs to, this needs to, to happen right here. Um, so I think what we need to do is for you to realize that I don't want to be cold, which I think you do. I think you're on the same picture. And and then we need to get long johns will warm me up. We need to, to get long johns warm me up. So we'll right warm clothes. Just to, just to <laughs> clarify here, because maybe I'm maybe I'm not communicating clearly. Long johns <laughs> are clothes. Now, do you understand that one? Long johns are clothes. Yeah. Excellent. So, warm clothes, you're correct. Those will warm you up. Long johns are clothes. And, in fact, they're the warmest clothes you can get. I need to get you layered here. So, maybe somebody in the crowd, I know quite a few of us have 
we all have Lissa's address. Who doesn't have Lissa's address? Um, we could maybe get together and send Lissa some long johns. What do y'all think? You think it's a good idea? I think it's a good idea. We sent her socks last year, and she's actually wearing them. Yeah, yeah. I, wear them, I wear them often. You and Excellent. Cheryl both. Cool. So now all we got to do is get you some long johns. We can do that. So let's get into, uh, I'm sorry for the distraction there, but I'm easily distracted. No, it's all right. I was going to talk about the books I have back there. Back there. Wait, what do you got going on back there next to the the enema machine? You got <laughs> well, I've got the uh, Upending Tad series book and then the two uh, Dungeon Black duology books. Along with a uh, picture of Greg on the wall. <laughs> you have a picture of, of Greg Tremblay on your wall? Yes. Well, is he it, signed is it signed? He signed one, and yeah. he gave it to me, so I put it on the wall. Nobody else did that. Wow. You know, this harkens back to the days of, did you have, like, new kids on the block on your wall? When you yes, were, I did. Yeah, I kind of figured you did. So harkens back to that. So, Greg, if you're watching this, if, if you ever run into this, you are now the new new kids on the block. <laughs> wow. Okay. Um, let's let's get in. Let's get into some releases a, here. Yeah, let's show. do that. Excellent. Here, the first one we have this week is Paradise Lost, Lost Book One by C.J. Bishop, narrated by Greg Stance. That'd be Craig, Craig Stance. but it's close enough. Yeah, yeah uh, I that fixed one, it. That one came out on the 10th. And speaking of the new, new kids on the block. The Christmas Leap, Festive Fakes by Kira Andrews, narrated by Greg Boudreau. Trimble. Yeah, uh, nope. that one came out on the 10th That's as not well. what it said. Uh, next we had. Night, Day and Night Series Book 2 by Aubrey Valentine. Narrated by Jack Dale. And that one came out on the 10th, too. The next we have is an audio clip from one of our very own. Hi there. Nick J. Russo here to discuss my new audio release, Better Than Beginnings, a better-than-good short story collection. Matt Sullivan knows he met someone special the night he spots the sexy man on the dance floor. However, he doesn't know his life is about to change forever. First of all, Matt is straight. Okay, maybe not, but he doesn't think falling in love and spending the rest of his life with a hot-headed, unapologetically fabulous diva is an option. Aaron Mendez is confident, smart, and very comfortable in his skin. He knows what he wants and isn't afraid to go for it. And though he might have reservations about falling for someone newly out of the closet, no one has ever looked at Aaron the way Matt does. Navigating a relationship has its challenges, but both Matt and Aaron are willing to deal with difficult parents, holiday blues, and learning curves. They know their happy ever after is worth fighting for, and that true love is better than good. No low angst, sexy fun. This collection of short stories follows the lives of Matt and Aaron from Lane's first novel, Better Than Good. The end of one chapter is the beginning of a whole new story. From ordinary, everyday life to an engagement, a wedding, and more. This collection is dedicated to Matt and Aaron fans, and those who believe that the real love story happens after the first I love you. Enjoy. It seems to me, uh, and by the way, thank you, Nick, for sending that in. I really appreciate it. And we love Lane Hayes here, too, so that's, that's fucking awesome. It seems to me that... Okay, the the cover model there, he's a very attractive man, obviously, huge arms. Um, but he's he's got like his mouth hanging there, like, like yeah, okay, and he's doing the blue steel like the that thing. But he's, <laughs> he's got like his yeah. I kind of figured you'd say something about that cover. <laughs> well, it's just like his mouth is kind of. I heard a really, it, that's. I heard a really good line. I'm not. I'm, this is a comedy line that I did not. It's not mine. I'm not taking credit for it. It's. He looks observably stupid, and I'm I'm sorry. It's just he just just the way his mouth is hanging open there. Just that's just what I pick up from it. Now maybe I'm um, I don't know. What do you think? Do you think he looks good? Do you think that the intelligence is shining from those kind of slightly slack jaw? Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> I understand. That. He he just looks like he's like I don't know. Um, yeah. 
He's trying to hide something. Observably stupid. Um, and, and by the way, uh, <laughs> Be- Betty just said at least his armpits are covered, which is fantastic. He's a good looking man. There's, <laughs> there's absolutely no doubt. He's a good. And, and, uh, and, and yeah, I'm, he's I'm got not, a shirt I'm not, on. I'm not, not bust on him. And I'm sure it's just the look he's giving in that moment. But anyways, that was my impression. Uh, thanks again, Nick, for sending that in. And congratulations on the release, uh, Nick and Lane. We love you both. I think I've read or listened to that series. I can't remember. There was one he did, which there was a character in there w- with the name Nikki. That's why I started calling him Nikki. It's like, hey, I Nikki, think it was so a series, fine. but. So finally blowing my mind. Hey, Nikki. It's like that. Um, <laughs> no. Hale Hire says that pose always looks like he's checking his pants after a fart. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I, I, I get it. I, and it, it, again, obviously a very good looking man. Um, <clears throat> congratulations on the release again. And next we had. The movie Town Murders, The Art of Murder, Book 5 by Josh Lanyon, narrated by Kale Williams. Yeah, there's Kale. And uh, that one came out on the 11th. And uh, Josh Lanyon's a name, actually, that's he's huge in the industry. And I haven't seen his name come up in a while. So congratulations on that. Um, I'm sure a lot of people are going to be checking that out, uh, not only because of Josh Lanyon, but also because of that fucking Kale Williams and his gorgeous Well, at least you tone. don't have to worry about, at least you don't have to worry about losing your crowd since you don't have one. Wow. Wow. Because you'd rather is play that... by yourself. Wow. <laughs> How? You know, it's not like Kale is fucking streaming to Discord every day, motherfucker. Um... No, <laughs> we've had our, uh, we've had plenty of listening experiences. Declan's doing Kelly Fox and right. James is look? doing How How Zombie Love. Declan doing Kelly Fox. No. Because I thought that she was a lesbian. <laughs> Is what I thought. But... She's by. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to insult anybody there. Um, that but one came anyway. out on the, the 11th, by the way. The next one we have, we moved to the 14th. This is the following week. We had. Blindsided by Becca Steele, narrated by James Joseph and Will Watt. And that one came out on the 14th. You sounded like you had a smile on your face there when you said Will Watt. <laughs> No. Okay. <laughs> okay. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm a happy it's just, it sounded, I guess so. It just sounded like you were laughing. I didn't know what. I was checking to see. <laughs> Next we have is an audio clip. Hey, Ramblin' Gremlin listeners. This is Lance West. I've got another new release for you I'm excited to share. It is No Choice. Choice versus Fate, book two, by Katie Manns. Abraham didn't need fate. He had his beta. Alpha Abraham spent long hours successfully leading the Southern Pack. His pack was happy and prosperous. He even had his beta Liam to help him de-stress at night. If only they didn't have to keep their love a secret. Omega Elijah came with his father, the Alpha of the Western Pack, to make alliances and get a stronger connection with other wolves. He wasn't prepared to find his fated mate and he definitely didn't expect to see his fated mate totally in love with his Beta. Beta Liam had loved his Alpha as a friend and lover for as long as he could remember. He knew what Abraham needed in and out of bed better than any Omega ever could, but maybe there was a way all three of them could benefit from fate. No Choice is the second audiobook in the Sweet with Naughty Heat M.M. Shifter Mpreg romance series Choice vs. Fate. It features a pack alpha in love with his beta, a beta who loves to satisfy his alpha's every need, the omega sent by fate, true love, adorable babies, and a guaranteed happily ever after. Thanks so much, y'all. See you next time. I like him working Perfect in babies. y'all there. Y'all. Um... Uh, and thank you again. Uh, thank you, Lance, for sending that in. And congratulations to Lance and Katie on the release. Uh, we really do appreciate you uh, sending in a clip there. Those um, three look angry. Yeah, a little <laughs> bit. A little bit. Um, I, I, I need to observe uh, uh, Barbie in the crowd just said uh, Josh Landy and his female. I'm sorry. I didn't know that. Um, I was thrown off by the name Josh. But, yeah, I'm, I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to offend anybody by that. I just simply didn't know. But I stand corrected. Um, next we have... Yeah, you sit corrected. Forbidden Mafia Prince. Every time you gotta take a little chat. Just ha! I feel like I should put up my arms a little bit here today. Go ahead. I didn't mean to interrupt you. <laughs> anyway, the Forbidden Mafia Prince, the Malvago. They, I can't. 
pronounce that, but okay. Duet book one by Ella Frank and Brooke Blaine, narrated by Aiden Snow. That one came out on the 15th. Next we had... Venom, Moonboro Bears, book one by Felfern, narrated by Zachary Zaba. And that one came out on the 15th. Next, we have another audio clip. Here we go. Hey, everyone. It's Liam DeCosmo. You know, your favorite romance audiobook narrator. Okay, second favorite. Top five? All right, I'm really reaching here. Anyway, so Big Bowl Mechanics number two, this is Stroker by K.M. Newhold, is coming out. And it's narrated by yours truly, as well as the incorrigible, the one and only... Tim Page. So I know you guys are looking forward to this one. So I'll give you a little bit of a background on it. So is there any way that you can tell your lifelong best friend that you secretly married his brother eight years ago? Asking for a friend. So when I show up needing a place to crash, Tallahassee, Tim Page's character, offers me his spare room. So whatever happened between us nearly two decades ago is definitely water under the bridge. I'm sure neither of us are lying awake wondering what could have been. No, definitely not. But I'll be honest, I'm determined to get a rise out of Tallahassee. So I've tie-dyed his clothes, I've removed his bedroom door, I've replaced his hand soap with lube. I'm not sure if I'm hoping he's going to kick me out, or if he's just going to kill me. But either way, as long as I get a rise out of him, I'll be happy. Maybe he'll be happy too. And we've definitely put our feelings behind us long ago. So no amount of fiddling under the hood is ever going to fix everything that's broken between us. From here on out, it's purely physical. Right? Yeah. Just a couple of guys and their stroker rods. I hope you all enjoy this book as much as Tim and I enjoyed narrating it. And we'll definitely catch you in the next one in the series. So until then, cheers. Uh, so much author. going on with that yeah, narration. Yeah. Uh, th- <laughs> thanks to Liam for sending that in. We love you to death. Uh, obviously, congratulations, uh, Liam, Tim, and uh, Cam Newhold. Cam, I miss you. Have fun. Hopefully, you come back on talk to me. Did you notice the uh, yeah, tool? Yeah, I did. I the... did entirely in the top left there. And that is a brilliant <laughs> logo for that series. I, I got to say, those are some big tires, which is fantastic. Um, if anybody uh-huh. can't see, I, uh, let me. Uh, Actually, I can't flip it back over here, I don't think. But uh, it, the, the cover on the top left of the cover is two tires with a wrench poking up the middle, um, yeah, which is referencing I don't something think that's can, tires, yeah, but okay. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that is tires. That's what that's. Those are little tires there. They got the hubcaps and everything. Them are tires. Yeah. Well, I mean, they could be okay. screws as far as that goes, too. Do you think they're screws? Do you, yeah, that's what I was thinking that they were. I think they look like tires with hubcaps myself, but this is an interesting experiment. So we can, you know, one person sees one thing, one sees another. <laughs> to be honest, the first thing I saw was balls. That one came out on the 15th. Next, the first we thing had... I saw was the name of the book. So, uh, <laughs> The Hounds of Burgervilles, Quest Investigations, book two by E.J. Russell, narrated by Greg Boudreau. Trendy. Yes, that one came out on the 15th. Next we had... Handjob. A-list security book two by Annabeth Albert, narrated by Kurt Graves. I do believe that that's hard Hard job, job, not hand job. Again, an interesting experiment in what you see. (laughs) And apparently I've got my mind somewhere else. Speaking of hand jobs, Kurt Graves, I love you to death, man. I've been working with him for the last week or two here pretty intimately. I mean, not that intimately, not like hand job intimately, but now I've been talking to him and it's been lovely. I miss the guy to death. Um, That one came out on the 16th. Next we had... Mm -hmm. Learning Curve. Life Lessons, Book 4 by K.J. Kaji Harper. Oh, my God. I can't speak today. Narrated by J.F. Harding. And that one came out on the 16th. Next we had... Last Chance, Kip O'Connor, M.M. Mystery, Book 3 by S.C. Wynn. Narrated by James Woodridge. And that one came out on the 16th. And that man's last name implies that he is rich in wood which is pretty impressive. Now, to what everyone was like waiting for talk? all week long, what we want to hear is, what did you listen to this week? Here we go. <laughs> well, these were comfort listens because I couldn't get into anything else. And 
this was a bullet breaker. I've listened to this several times before. But after the book hangover, Cora put me in that I would do some comfort listens. And since I haven't reviewed this one on here and I didn't want to listen to anything new, I would go with uh, Lucy Lennox. Uh, basically, I found this series after I listened to Upending Tad years ago. And I love this series. I love the whole Marion family. Aunt, T Aunt Tilly is just like Aunt Rosie in a way. Um, Michael's low growly timber for one of the main characters was amazing and so was Blue's twinkie voice. So Marion clan is at a vineyard for a wedding. Blue and Tristan meet at a bar and it turns into a, a fake relationship to steer both families away from trying to set both of them up with other people. And apparently Tristan is straight, or so he says. Or at least bi. Um, many sexy times happens, and it was only supposed to be temporary, but it didn't end that way. I think I remember Lucy saying this was her first book, and they both did an amazing job, and that's why I come back to the series from time to time. Well, uh, Bullet Breaker is obviously the highest praise that we can get here. This means that, uh, once again, Lissa had to order something from Amazon because she broke her last one. Um, Congratulations. Uh, I know this isn't a new release, but I've heard a lot of people refer to this book over the years. Obviously, everyone loves Lucy, and this is really what I think my impression, uh, this is kind of what brought Michael onto the scene as well as Lucy's books. So congratulations mm -hmm. once again, even though it's obviously a little bit after the fact. Next, we had... Book two of the same series. <laughs> I gave this one four and a half bullets. I couldn't really decipher which one I wanted to do, either four or five, but I went with four and a half. This is book two of the main Maid Marion series, and I still wasn't ready to listen to anything new, so I continued f with the second book. This one is uh, with Jamie Marion, and who's a wildlife vet and the guy, Teddy, who's a photographer, and he searches out for the perfect picture to submit for a very prestigious award called the Grambling. Yes, it's a oh, real award. I did okay. look it up. Yeah, no, maybe you should have your own <laughs> award show, too, here, I guess. <laughs> and it was so long since I listened to this one that I'd forgotten about that part, but it was interesting to hear Michael say my last name on occasion. <laughs> I really enjoyed this one again, and they both knocked it out of the park, and this is why, that's probably why I uh, come back to the series often. Excellent, and I know that you're obviously a fan of this series. Uh, a lot of people talk about the Maid Marian series, and I've heard Lucy uh, in person talk about it, actually, at a, a GRL a few years ago, um, mm -hmm. and hopefully she gets back to another one at some point. Now, you were also reading a book this week by the uh, our own uh, little lesbian from Texas. This one was? This one was Unwrapping Christmas. Um, this was an arc I got from Kelly. It's a novella. It comes out on the 23rd of this month. I absolutely loved it. I loved going back to the uh, Rebel Sky Ranch and... This was a Christmas novella with Tanner and Junior, who were two side characters from the series. There was a, quite a bit of kink once they figured out what they wanted with each other. And it was sexy as hell. Um, can't wait to see what else she comes up with with the series. And, oh yeah, this was, this was a bullet breaker. hey -o. look at that. Um... Cool. Uh, and congratulations. We love Kelly Fox to Dex. Uh, Kelly, I miss you. I really do. Come back. Um, I think that's it. Uh, thank you for putting Yeah, that was it. It was again. a short, short week for releases, too. So. 
yeah, it's all good. Uh, I'm sure we've got some more Christmas stuff coming up here very, very soon. Um, mm-hmm. <clears throat> thanks to you've got uh, at least three coming well, up. Yeah, I know, um, and more, a lot more coming your way. Although I've been working some publisher projects here, I kind of bounced back into another uh, podium project. I started a Ro Horvat project, an indie project, and I jumped back over to a podium project because I'm a few days behind on a deadline for them, and now I'm going to be jumping back over to Row tomorrow. So, but <clears throat> thank you to everybody mm-hmm. for one uh, for uh, the narrators. Um, uh, I think we had Lance, we had Nick, and we had uh, Liam. Uh, everybody send in samples. Thank mm-hmm. you so much for doing that. Congratulations on Thank the release you. to everyone. Um, uh, th- sorry about the late start time today. That was my fault. I had to reschedule a workout, and I wasn't going to skip my workout, so that's what I did. Um, yeah, last week was my fault, and this week it's <clears throat> uh, it, you. Uh, it was definitely me this week. Love you all to death. Enjoy yourselves. Have fun. Barbie, I hope you come back and watch us live again next week. If you're watching us on Hi. YouTube, please hit the like button. <laughs> Have fun. Good luck. Wave bye to the camera. <laughs>